I don't know where you're watching the video, but um, wherever you see in the title, yes, I did switch my hormones from the pills to injections. So basically, it consists on an injection, and it consists of you basically injecting yourself the estrogen, but you're still going to be drinking the extra dial and the uh, spironolactone. Wait. Sorry. I messed up. The extra dial is what you're going to be injecting yourself. The spironolactone is what you're going to keep drinking. That's like pill substance, which is called the um, testosterone blocker. And the dutosteride, which is what I drink, is so that I don't keep receding, like my hairline and stuff like that. Because before transitioning, I don't even know if I spit or something, but if I did, I'm sorry. Um, I did have some receding hairline before, when I was before transitioning, but now everything is coming back. As you can see, these are my breasts from hormones only. I haven't got any surgeries or whatever. That's why I am not getting surgeries at all. Because they're already a problem. Anyways. So basically today I'm going to be teaching. Um, the actual way. Of like how I was told to do the. Um, inject before injecting myself. The preparation of the needle. How to take out the extra dial. And what to do next. Um, cause to be honest, mm -mm. honestly, um, there's going to be a part where I'm going to be showing because it's going to be my second time cause I did it on last Thursday. It was my first time that I did it. But the reason why I'm actually redoing this video was because when I actually did it the first time, I kind of, we had a, like, a a fucked up moment where I couldn't put the whole extra dial in because the needle kind of like broke apart on me so I just decided not to fucking upload the video because I got pissed so basically here is the needle I don't know if you can see it because of the thing here is the needle that you actually put insert in your body and this needle over here which is huge as fuck um, it's what you actually use only to take out the extra dial that comes in this bottle. Um, I'm really not doing this video so that you could self-medicate. I honestly don't actually like agree with doing that. Honestly, because your body and everybody's body is really different, and it could like create some side effects if you actually get to the point of doing extra dial or the transition really wrong. Um, I honestly feel like if you're struggling, like I really understand, but like you get, you're gonna get to this point where I am, where if you actually work hard enough for it. Um, so I'm taking out of the package. If I could just open it. Oh yeah, I forgot it has like a little lid thing, and the air is hitting me. I just needed to put that freaking um fan. This is not my actual hair, but hey. So basically, I have to take um three point zero. So basically, it is where the three is right. That's basically how much I need to take. I'm just looking the wrong place because I don't know where the camera is. But, yeah. So, yeah. Three. I need to have it on three. So, wait. I already started wrong. So, basically, since the bottle, I already opened it. You're supposed to grab a cotton ball or... Something that's really clean. I have this because I have a whole bag of them and stuff. So I'm just going to use it for this time. And then I'm just going to put it in the trash. 
and you should basically since you open it and the first time you open this is actually sterile uh, sterilized so you don't have to like honestly just clean the top you feel me but since I like I said I already used to last Thursday so I need to clean it so um what was in here was perfume before but honestly I took out the perfume and stuff for that and I just reused it to put alcohol on it because I do all the things so let's start so again this is not the actual needle what you need for um how can I explain it to you this is not the needle you use to insert the extra gel on you it's, don't do that so we're gonna insert this in into the extra dye bottle okay so basically there's a thing here like you have to hold it with your non-dominant hand and then just basically try to do it as low as possible um, because if you actually get to the point of doing it inside it's just really like all the way up you're just going to be consuming air so another thing you I was going to tell you that I actually do did forgot to do is the nurse told me to bring a little bit air outside and then once I put it in press that air in for what situation I don't know don't ask me um, but she just told me to do that okay so basically I said three is what I have to go through sometimes when you're actually taking out the extra dial out of the bottle since it's thick um, it gets to the point that it brings air with it um, so try to take your time you know and if you see a little bit of air just basically press in and then press out again slowly if you want there's another way to do it and it's going more like at four let's say and then after you get to the point of going to four the number is right here when you get to the goal to four that it doesn't have like a little bit of air as you can see right there all you have to do is press in wherever you actually need the um the needle to be after that you basically are gonna take the thing out and then this is when you actually get to the point of switching the needle Try to insert the needle in there, please, because honestly, when you get to the point of taking out everything, um, especially like all of it, it could come off like it did on the video like few minutes ago. Honestly, you could do it on different places. Like, for example, first of all, your muscles have to be really like not tense at all. Um, they have to be relaxed. Last time, I honestly did it. I honestly, you're supposed to do it here, in this place right here. Damn, I feel like I'm gonna be. So you're supposed to do it here, in this place right here, and then or over here. And every time you do it in one side, you have to do it on the other side. I did it last week right here so basically I should do it right here but the situation here is since I did it here I mean since I did it here me doing it here I'm kind of like worried that it will mess up like it happened on the video so like I'm probably just gonna try my booty and then yeah so once you put it inside give me a second I'm trying not to take the thing so this is the actual needle which is really tiny um once you do it inside once you put it inside you have to draw back to see if you honestly just put it in a bezel and if you did you need to take it out to then actually do it again so every when you actually try to pull back again if it, there's no blood then it means you're in an actual good position to just inject everything you have on um like I said I really feel uncomfortable doing it on my leg so I'm just gonna try it on my booty so for those who actually get to the point of feeling uncomfortable of like 
seeing me doing it um, in any type of way, um, you could honestly just not watch the video anymore. Um, I'm honestly putting this video to be 18 and up so that people that are younger, if they honestly just end up seeing it anyways, is their problem. And it's not my, like, problem at all, if you understand what I'm saying. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video that I'm going to do. So, basically, um, this is me getting ready for the, the actual injection. Um, I did put the, um, the thing on again because of safety issues, just in case. I'm putting that there, but then I'm putting it in trash anyways. Um, so again, your muscles have to be relaxed. My butt is basically relaxed all the time, so it doesn't really matter. Unless I'm doing like squats and stuff like that. But anyways, I'm gonna use the same exact thing I put the alcohol on on the first time. Um, just to clean the area. So for those who don't want to see anything of me doing it, then basically gets to the point. This is will be your last chance in order to just go out and not watch me anymore. Like I said, make sure it's really inside there because when you actually get to do it, um, you don't want this to pop off. And if it still does pop off, then I don't know what to do. Why did I just did that? Okay, so this is the way. So my, so this is my booty, of course, and I'm just gonna do it right here. You press everything in. Take your time. We have a little bit of blood coming out, but besides that, so this is kind of cool because it gets to the point that once you're finished, you can bring it up and then it doesn't come down or anything. So yeah, that's basically it. I think for me, it's easier to do it on my ass than on my leg. So then next time, basically, I will just have to do it on my other uh, um, cheek. But other than that, that's basically um, how you do the extragen injections. It's It was really difficult at first, honestly, like you saw in the, in the video. And I didn't actually put this all the way in. So it was just... I feel like it was more of my fault that it actually broke like it did. Um, this is my body. I feel like honestly with hormones, with the injections, my body's growing more faster. And I didn't actually change my hormones because I want my body to get to the point of moving faster. It was technically because it's less time consuming. What I mean by that is the fact that with pills, I need to drink it every day. Um, if I was a teenager, I feel like it would be amazing. It would be good, you know? Something to be reminded of and st stuff like that, etc. But as now that I have a job and then like I have to do all the things, I feel like it is more convenient if I just do it once a day. Even though I do need to drink the um, spironolactone and the glutosterone like twice a day, I mean, except for that, to do tosteride, to to do tosteride, whatever. This is so hard. Um, 
I still need to drink the spironolactone um, in the morning and in the afternoon. But honestly, for me, I just feel it would the more, the most pill I was really concerned about it was the estrogen due to the fact because my body is the one that's needing it. You know what I'm saying? So because of that happening. <clears throat> I felt that I needed to do something about it and I feel like honestly she's doing it with injections is every Thursday that I have to do it I don't have to do it every fucking day I'm sorry for the bad word but that's how I truly feel about it um so yeah all I need to do drink is there's spironolactone and then that's it and the detoxeride but those for me weren't that important the test the Testosterone blockers were actually important to me and there still are because it's part of the process But I was more concerned about not taking the estrogen if anything um, Honestly for those who feel uncomfortable and stuff like that. I am sorry and I apologize um, but basically that's how life is and it's It's tough, you know um, Did it hurt? It, you feel it like you can't be scared of it Honestly, because you have it's part of your process. You need to think about like what you have gone through in order to get to this position um, You're trying to bury yourself. You're trying to make yourself even more of a Person you could relate to in a way as what I mean is like if you don't feel complete you little by little getting there to them feeling complete um, So yeah, other than that, I honestly did have fun talking to you and speaking to you and expressing this situation in where how to do the estrogen injections and basically when you actually have to have it how to do it be sanitary basically sterilizing things um in order for it to be safe for you to inject in yourself don't self-medicate to be honest it's really not safe to do so because of the side effects but i wish for you to like just be safe and be you you know um other than that basically this is my video and this is why i honestly should change from the pills to injections it was because it's like time consuming um thank you for watching the video um for those who don't know me which i'm already late about saying i'm Josine davis nice to meet you i am trans male to female and this was my video about why did i change to injections and how to do how i do it now i honestly learned something new today as well um, that it's better for me and easier for me to do it on my ass <laughs> than do it on my legs. Um, I guess you don't have to think too much on your ass, then you have to think on front. So, yeah. But everybody's different, and probably somebody's gonna think it's easier for them to do it on their legs. Just know the main thing to like keep in your head is the fact that. If you did it on your left the last time, do it on your right. Just that's the main, for me, it's the most important rule. Like, keep it on a balance. And it, it wasn't a rule from me, it was a rule from the nurse, basically. Um, other than that, thank you for watching. Um, I hope this helped you in any way. And I am proud that you made it this far and that you're actually fighting for what you believe is you and keep fighting because if you don't do it nobody's gonna do it for you you know thank you for watching stay tuned